these are a few Excel essentials here. I'm um, going to be doing a bunch of things. Instructions are in the file when you work with it. Um, educational for those of you who don't have the file. First thing we want to do, I want to talk about merge and centering cells. I highlight A1 through I1 merge and center. And I'm going to do this down here. I could also use the format painter Click inside two, it's in there. I want to put in today's date. So to do that, I could click on formulas, date and time. I go to today, or I could just type in equal today, left, right parenthesis, and it's centered. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of formatting. I want to make these two cells here bold, 16 point. I could go on the home tab. I could click on this big A here a couple of times. I have it there. And I'm going to make it dark red with a green fill. Go over here. That's the dark red. I click next to Mr. Paint Bucket. And I'm going to do a light green fill here. So we have that. Next I want to do, I want to make these cells here currency. I might not want decimal points here. I click on the dollar sign here. Get rid of the decimal points. That is done. And what I want to do here, this top row here is a little bit hard to read. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on wrap text, make it bold, make it centered. If you want it vertically centered there, you could click there or just go to the bottom there. So that is done. I want to do a formula in column D. We're selling cars, so you have to subtract equal, hit the equal sign, minus, complete the formula, double click on the dot there, comes down there, it calculates it. I want to know the interest rate here. Um, that's based on their FICO score. Before we do this, we're going to create a range, or name a range. We highlight this information here, and I'm going to go and name the range FICO. Click inside here. I type it. Make sure you press the Enter key. So we're going to do a V lookup here to determine the interest rate. That is relatively simple. We go on the formulas tab. We click up on lookup and reference. We click on V lookup. Three parts. You don't have to worry about the bottom one. The lookup value is based on the FICO. The table array is, we just type in FICO. Shows the numbers there. When you go down here, I'm just going to scroll down here. You got one column, two columns, okay? I don't need this stuff in here. It's based on the data in column number two. So I have that. It shows the interest rates here. I could go inside here and I could just format it as a percent and then I can just drag it down. So they're all paying different interest rates on here. What we're gonna do here, we're looking at the number of years financed, okay? People will be doing different amounts of years here. So we need to type this data in here very quickly here. Okay, when we go into here, now what you're gonna do here, doing this deliberately, it has to be formatted as a regular number. $3 is the same as the number 3. I click on the 3. I don't need decimal points because we're only paying for it over a year. If I want to change the indent here, I click inside here. Decrease indent or increase indent. Not really working here. Sometimes it works. Depends how the number is set up here. I keep doing this. Woo. Don't want to do that just widening the column and then because I have all those indents on there so what I have to do now go over here 
pull it in. Everything is fine. I want to determine the monthly payment now. It is the payment function. You want it to appear as a positive number. So to do that, we go again onto the formulas, financial. We want to find the PMT. So we have three things that we're going to do here. The rate, percentage, number of payments, which is three years present value. You don't have to worry about those bottom two. So the rate is here. We divide it by 12. Number of payments is three years. We multiply it by 12. Present value of the loan. So it appears positive. Hit the minus sign. I click on the amount to finance. Say OK. That is our monthly payment on the car. Now we have another thing too here. Down payment required. What we're saying here, the down payment is required or not required if they have a 625 or greater. However, if it's not, they're going to have you're going to say yes. So, we're going to do an if statement. Logical if I want to say if the cr credit rating is 625 or more greater than, equal to, 625, it's false because this guy is 350. If it's true, they don't have to pay any down payment here. I could just say zero, and if it's false, yes, they have to type it in. Say OK. So they have to do that. And you could see a lot of these people, if it says a zero, they don't have to. If I want to change it to say no, I could just go up in here in the formula bar, delete the zero. It's a text string now. NO. Type it carefully. And you still have that comma there. And then I go and drag it down. It says no. Next thing I want to do here, I want to talk about statistics. I want to know the average car price. You can click on here under auto sum. Click on average. Select the correct range. You can also type it in. Equal MAX. Left parenthesis. Highlight equal min. You can also use the drop down arrow there too to find it. So, and then I can just hit the enter key. I don't have to always type in that right parenthesis. Last thing is we're going to do a chart here. Go to the chart sheet here. We want to do a bar chart, okay? We want to do a chart based on the model and the quantity sold. To do this here, you have to highlight non-adjacent ranges. I highlight Mustang through Fusion. Put my finger on the control key to do a non-adjacent range. And now I go into Insert. And I want to do a bar chart here. Bar chart here. And then I could go into uh, here, give it a title. Ford's sold this year. Hit the enter key. If I want to change the flavor of the appearance, I can go over here. Some cool effects here. And so it's just showing a chart here. And then I want it so it's in the top left here. You want to position it right here. A12. Look right here. You can widen it if you want to. You can make it shallower if you want to. You could also go on format, specify the size. Like, let's say, five and a half. It's proportionate. And one thing I'll say, if you're ever printing a worksheet here, if I go to Control-P to print, it shows everything there. It's going to go to a second page. However, if I click just on the chart, do a Control-P to print, it just does the chart. Nice feature when you could just print out the chart. So that's a summary of a lot of the essentials you need to know in Excel.